Good morning, and we are back. And I wasn't gonna do a video this morning, but there was a box on my porch. And uh, this is a mask that is quite special. I never owned one, however, I owned the re-release of it. Um, they did a resurrection series of masks. A little company by the name of Distortions Unlimited that you all know and love. There is a classic late 80s version of one of the coolest masks of all time in this box. And my friend Dino, <clears throat> shout out to Dino. I'm gonna put his uh, Instagram on the screen because those of you out there um, that are not familiar with him, he has a spectacular mask and bust collection. Um, one of the best ones I know of. I mean, really high-end uh, pieces. Dino has, you know, he collects not only some of the coolest characters and monsters, but also some of the finest um, examples from a lot of great independent people out there, including people like, including companies like Don Post and Distortions. He's a big Death Studios fan, and, uh, you know, I kept telling him I'd like to buy this piece from you and um, Dino knows it's very tough to get good pieces from me like I don't want to let them go so he dangled a little tray in front of my face <laughs> and I'm like man all right you know I hate letting stuff go that I love and uh, we talked about a mask that was downstairs that I, I truly loved a death studios piece and I thought it over and I said, yeah, this is definitely well worth trading. Um, so let's do it. So now I'm gonna open this box and show you one of the coolest distortions masks of all time. It has skeletons on it. It's got a dead dude. really excited. Let's see if I can do this with one hand here. I'm going to keep this stuffing and take it over to my shipping and receiving department where I will need this stuff later. Um, and so this definitely is in the 1990 distortions catalog. I think I said late 80s earlier as I was shooting this video. I'm trying to be careful. <laughs> unraveling this stuff here. Um, so it is possible, it is possible this debuted in 1990. I'm not sure if it came out in 89 or not. I'm gonna really have to study the catalog photos, but I own the resurrection mask and I kick myself all the time for selling it. Connor Dallas sculpted the, uh, the resurrection version Look at that. The original Dead Dreams. Is it Dreams with an S? Dead Dreams. Distortions Unlimited mask. We gotta fix his hair real quick. We're looking a little spookier. Oh my God, is that cool. I wanted the original, let's get out of the sun. I wanted the original so bad um, when I seen old photos of it somewhere. Then when Connors came out, I went crazy about it. Fuck, I need to get that mask. I love skeletons. I'm crazy about skeletons. Halloween, of course I'm crazy about skeletons, right? So this mask, I had to get my hands on one. And honestly, I've never seen an original in person. I don't think I remember ever seeing one up for sale. You know, not that I followed Distortions sales on eBay for years, but I mean, look at this. The little guys poking out everywhere, climbing out of this guy's mouth and his eye socket there's a little hand coming out of that eyeball just wild you know with distortions compared to Dom Post Studios distortions took things a little further with uh, craziness in their masks and the gore I always said you get a lot more gorier masks with the distortions classics and uh, this one's still tagged oh yeah 89 there it is so, 
I'm guessing this debuted in 89, but uh, it's, got a, it's got a little blemish or a little hole poking out there, but this thing, um, maybe I'll foam fill it, get him looking good, and uh, he's definitely going to go on display down there with those other DU pieces in the collection. I just thought I'd do a quick video um, on this new score. October is on the way. When October's in the air, collectors go crazy. They start getting that Halloween feel in their blood and it starts boiling and they all get mask crazy. So, that being said, I may choose a little group of masks to sell during the month of, month of October, late, late September, early October. Don't start asking me what they're gonna be. I hate that when people say, well, what else are you gonna sell? Like, I don't know, when I sell them, they're all gonna go up for everyone to see, and that's how we're gonna do it. So, um, I don't wanna hear which ones you want, because it doesn't matter. I'm gonna pick out some, I'm gonna try to make, I'm gonna try to make a little room down there, which sometimes is impossible for me to decide what to let go. Of course, I'm not let going of my great, great pieces, um, but there may be a handful of things I need to move just to make room. I talked with Frank's brother last night. I'm going back to the Frankenstein, doing another trip before winter. Um, we got a lot of stuff to do there. So anyway, enough babbling. This is supposed to be a short video, and uh, man, is this thing awesome. It's so cool to get the original in my hands because I've never owned one. Thank you, Dino. Like I said, you guys should follow him. He has, you know, next to Frank, Dino is one of those guys that just pops right into mind that has great taste in masks and and, and vintage horror and hammer films. You know, he's, he's the real deal, you know? Not one of these fly-by-night jokers. Not one of these posers out there like I see constantly in the hobby. So anyway, thank you and we will Come back with more monster masks for you.